Let's go over these ingredients and let's get it. Don't have a whole lot of ingredients, right? But I promise you, don't let the lack of ingredients, you know, fool you. Look, I'm going to start. Look, we got ground pepper. We got kosher salt, chicken broth, flour, and we got Creole kick. This is what I want you to see. Look at that right there. This right here is like really the secret ingredient. I suggest everybody get this side. This size. Reason being, this is what I cook with probably 90% of the time when I'm trying to, you know, bring some real flavor. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and get our flour. Now look, I got a lot of flour and I'm only doing two chops, right? That's for the sake of just this video. So I'm going to probably just go ahead and just add about half of that. And then I'm going to come with my Creole kick. And then it's because I make this all the time, then I'm going to go ahead and just give this just a couple of general, generous pinches of salt. And we're gonna come over the top, because if you guys been watching me for a minute, you know I like to grind my pepper. Now, get yourself a whisk, and just whisk it all together. For me, this is how I know that my, my flour is seasoned right, I should be able to see my seasoning in there. Right now, I'm looking at it, and I'm saying I need a little bit more pepper. Key thing, everybody wanna know, how do I know that's right? Because the main thing you got to do is you got to taste You got to taste this flour. I know it sounds wild, but this is why your granny stuff tasted just fine. And then when you went ahead and tackled it yourself, you're like, man, it needs some salt or need something else. So we're going to taste it right here. Hmm. It's ready, folks. Now we're going to go ahead and, you know, cut this, right? We're going to cut our onion. Me, I like to cut it like how you see right here. Now you notice I didn't even uh, peel it. It seems to me, you see how it's trying to just come loose? It seems to me it's easier to just go ahead and do it. You cut the ends off and then when you do that, then I like to do this, right? It just makes it much easier for me to peel the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this down. Look, there is no right way or no wrong way. You cut them how you want to. You can use dice onion. You can cut these into like little shoestring laces. However you want to do it, you do it. Onions down, we got our flour done. Look, I'm gonna be using the paper plate. Y'all can hit me up down in the comment section below and tell me, hey, I don't cook using no paper plate. But check this out, folks. You see that right there? I'm the one that has to wash these dishes. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna bring my flour. We're gonna put this in here just like that. When I made these before, I told everybody to go ahead and hit these up, you know what I mean, and season them. But if your seasoning here is right, I promise you, you don't need to do that. So we'll just put them right here like this. Got to get the size too. I'm all about this right here. Obviously, I'm going to be doing them in the cast iron skillet, right? I just like the way the cast iron just fries everything, right? So look, I've already set my flame up. We got a medium high. You probably can't. Nah, it's probably like a medium flame. I just want to get the heat to just, you know, distribute throughout the cast iron. Hey, here's a pro tip. You can always take your cast iron, stick it inside your oven, and let it, you know, get an even head start. So that way, when it comes time to cook, you can just put it down and just get right to it. I can see right now I'm starting to get just like a little bit of smoke. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding my bacon grease. I'm gonna start adding my, always start with my onions first. Now I'm not gonna let them break all the way down. That's up to you guys how you wanna do them. You know what I mean? Uh, I just want them to become translucent. This is as far as I go right here with grilling the onions, right? Okay, so look, I'm gonna add a little bit of extra virgin in here. You know what I mean? Nice to have that, along with that bacon fat. Main thing is, and I hope I'm explaining this right, the reason I don't tell nobody no time, because what we want to do is we want to cook these. What we want to do is we want to brown them, right? That's with the flour, we putting a little crust on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip these. Hey, you know what? Before I flip it, I'm going to take this time to say, you guys got to follow me on, if you're not following me already on uh, Instagram, you can. You should do that. There's going to be a lot of things on there that you guys don't see that's on my regular channel, and I got a little behind the scene, a little eye candy and all of that. So just follow me on Instagram. You can see it right there. I'm sure it's coming up right now, and we go from there. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get this, this baby flipped over. Look at that color right there. Now, don't that look like when Granny used to make them? I keep saying Granny, but you know what? My grandfather could burn, too. Both of these look good. I'm going to just go ahead and take these out and just let them rest right now. 
right? Because all we want to do is put some color on there and we're going to cook to an eternal temp in just one second. So now we're coming back with our onions. Then we're going to let more of this, you know, render down a little bit. And that helps if anything did stick down here, you let the acid from the onions, you know, get it up because you want all of this to mix. Remember we had some of that seasoned flour? See this right here? We're gonna start adding just a little bit, right? So, we'll just start doing it like that. And then we'll just sprinkle a little bit more like this, move it around. Ah, yeah. What I'm doing now is I'm cooking some of that flour taste out and I'm getting the flour to absorb every piece of liquid that's in here. Here go the magic. If you want to know, you notice how I, when I add something to anything, I always put it in a little bit at a time. Why? Because it is always, let me just say it this way, it's easier to add more than it is to take away, right? And can you see how it's starting to form gravy, folks? Look how it kind of like it thickened up and you can see them onions. I can barely talk, folks, because I'm worried about these onions. Not worried about it, I just want to eat some. But. I just added myself a little bit more of the chicken stock, chicken broth, whatever you guys want to use. You know what I mean? Uh, look, I'm just getting this right here just so it's not as thick right now because we're going to cook it down a little bit more once we put these chops in. That right there is right. When you season your flour and you do everything right, when you put it in there, it should come out like that. Talk to me down in the comments. Now, let's come back to these chops. I'm gonna take a chop, I'm gonna just put it right there in there like that. I know you guys were looking at how shallow I had that oil when I was just browning them chops, thinking, it ain't gonna cook. But you see this gravy right here? You see how it rises up? We gonna get it to rise up just a little bit more. Listen, it's a method to my madness, folks. You see that right there? Oh my God. Now, let me just go ahead and get myself another spoon. I hope you guys can hear it in my voice. Listen, this is my favorite meal. I cook this so much. I don't even really make no, you know, no videos about it that often. You know what I mean? Because uh, I do pork chops in the morning for breakfast. You know what I mean? Only thing, well, I ain't going to say that because I'm going to put some rice on too. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and coat these just like this. Look at that. We're going to let these simmer a little bit. Let it cook down some. We're going to get that rice together. But I'm going to smother them like this, right? And then we're just going to go ahead and let them cook. I'm going to say... It probably is going to take about 10 minutes. What you want to do, you want to get yourself your meat thermometer and you just want to check, see where you're at. Whew, they nice and tender right now. Check it out. I just hit it. Let me try it again over here. This is already at 135. And that right there is, yeah, that's at 141. Okay, so we at 138 on this one. We looking for an internal temp of 145. When them come off, oh yeah, it's time to taste. Got the rice on, it's time to put one of these chops. I'm a, I don't know why, I just like this one mostly. So you know what, let me move this. Let me just make a little room so I don't make a mess, right? Move that over there like that. Then we'll come, let it drip just a little bit. One, two, three. Ah, oh, yeah. Then we'll just go ahead and just drop him just like that. You see that onion? That's what I'm talking about, folks. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I held back on a lot of onion. You didn't see a lot of onion. You know that you saw the size of the onion in the very beginning, right? I didn't put it all in there. Why? Because I didn't want to. I didn't want y'all to say, hey, he got more onion than he do gravy. But check it out. This is where you get the money from. I'm going to turn it like that so you can see. This is why we do great. I mean, this is why we do rice. You know, this works good with mashed potatoes also. But I'm just going to go ahead and let it do like this and let it rain on the other side. You see that right there? Now, any of y'all want to get down and, you know, get down with me and say you make the best gravy and all of that. And then I'll really break out the pro tips. Hey, but right now, this right here, get everybody in the game and to shock everybody. Hey, so I'm going to quit popping my collar and uh, let me go ahead and swallow one time. Let's eat. Got it on here. As you can see, this is the way I like it. I really, hey, because we on film. That's why you can see a little right rice, right? Because I at least want you guys to know that it is rice. But if you look at this right here, look at this. I'm just going to cut me a little piece out right there. Look at that right there. Ooh, my goodness. Cheers. When your gravy and your rice is proportioned just right, 
along with the protein, it almost just slide down the back of your throat. Hey, I don't care how thick it is, if you use a meat thermometer, you just want to get your internal temperature to 145 throughout the whole, you know, pork chop. When you do that, that ensures that, it, that it's juicy. And I can barely talk, folks. Mm. I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to be super quick. Why? Because, again, this is like my favorite of all time. Just smothered pork chops, rice and mashed potatoes. Hey, how about this? Rice and mashed potato 